it's just really disheartening knowing that an introduced species to our country is yet again um, destroying our native species. They've been called many things and most of them aren't pleasant. An underwater possum, a river rat and a gnarly pest. But the catfish epidemic that's plaguing lakes Rotorua and Rotoiti is no joke. The catfish to me would probably be like a tanifa for me. Um, Oh, well, there's good tanifa and there's bad, bad tanifa. So this one is, is uh, bad tanifa. William Anadu is the community coordinator working with the Tiarawa Lakes Trust to help make our lakes great again. So catfish are um, originally from North America. They've been here since the 1870s. And uh, another couple of theories there too is that um, they were released by the Acclimatisation Society into the Waikato River for um, a food source and they were brought over here or they were brought over here on um, boats. Sailors brought them over because they could eat them as they came down and they just released them when they got here. First recorded in Lake Rotoiti in 2016, catfish have become a major headache for the Department of Conservation. For the department it is a real concern um, purely because of, again, endangered species that could potentially become extinct due to an introduced pest. Um, so they're a pest in our waterways, well, firstly because they're not native from here, uh, second they, they're eating all the native fish, all the native crustaceans and they're a big threat to um, coda, uh, freshwater crayfish. Catching catfish has become so important in this region it was even included at the recent Te Arawa Games, an event that pitted 10 Te Arawa Marae against each other in a variety of sporting events. Catfish culling was uh, part of the, I guess, the Kaitiakitanga stream of Te Arawa Games. Uh, it was the first and um, it was actually ended up probably being our kids' best uh, part of, uh, of the event. Yeah, yeah and they just enjoyed because they've never seen catfish before. Uh, they've seen them on YouTube, so for them to actually be part of this uh, kaupapa and actually cat catch catfish and also learn about the uh, uh, the things living inside the lake um, it was um, good for them. To help minimise the spread of catfish, the Department of Conservation has created the clean, check and dry concept. So cleaning being clean down your boat, um, clean down your trailer, check every part of your boat, especially in your trailer because that's where catfish love to hide away but to check it and um, at least let it dry for a minimum of one minute. You do that before leaving the lake. The council estimates around 65,000 catfish have so far been caught between the two lakes, which begs the question, how many more are there? Oh, well, it's an impossible question to answer really, but um, probably another 100,000 maybe. <laughs> we'll see. Gavin Ogden, Local Focus.